Welcome back to my series of tutorials on how to create mods for the Binding of Isaac Repentance. If you haven't seen the previous episode where we learned about callbacks, item pools, and active items, you can do it by clicking the button in the top right corner. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the Isaac Animation Editor. In the last video, I mentioned that we'd make a more advanced passive item, but I decided to make a change of plans as I realized that it's really important for you to learn how animations work in Isaac. The Isaac Animation Editor is a tool that can be found in the Tools folder after extracting the game's files, which we did in the first video of the series. It assists in creating .anim2 files, or .anm2 files. These are structurally identical to XML files and tell Isaac how to play animations and display sprites. Editing .anim2 files by hand is monotonous and impractical, so we've been provided with an application that will assist us. Be warned though, it's pretty clunky, so things may be hard to navigate at first. To open the animation editor, navigate to the games directory. Then click on tools, and then Isaac animation editor. Then open the program. This tutorial is gonna be a bit different from the others as I have no specific goal in mind. I'm going to show some basic functionality of the animation editor so that hopefully you can learn yourself from there. To create a new animation, Click File, and then New. Navigate to where you want to save your file, which will be the GFX folder for me, and then name it. I'm going to name it Scythe. Now let's add a sprite sheet. Go to the Sprite Sheets area at the top right and click Add. I've copied a sprite from the base game, and I put it in my effects folder. It's called Scythe. Your .anim2 file can have many animations in it. You can play any one animation specifically using Lua code, but we won't be doing that today. Just click the Add button in the Animations area and name your animation anything. I'm going to name it Idle. Now that we have an animation, we also need a layer. Different layers let you have different sprite sheets with different frames in one animation. The animation I'm going to make doesn't have many moving parts, so we only need one layer. Go to the bottom left, click Add and name your layer. I'm gonna call it body. At the sprite sheets tab, you can actually add multiple sprite sheets at once and they'll be assigned a little number at the beginning of their name. Make sure this sprite sheet ID corresponds to the sprite that you wanna use. Click okay and it'll create a new layer. At the bottom half of your screen, you'll see a timeline. This shows every frame in your animation. If you go below our timeline, you'll see a menu with a bunch of different buttons. Before I do anything, I'm going to set the author property of my animation to my name. If hypothetically anyone else was working on this mod with me, they now know who to contact me if the animation needs fixing. We have a loop button at this bottom menu, which is useful for stuff like walk cycles. I'm going to tick that box, then insert my first frame by clicking the button to the left right next to play. By default, the animation editor assumes your sprite is 32 by 32 pixels in size, so it may not appear correctly if your sprite is bigger or smaller than that. Before we fix that, switch to the pan mode by clicking on this compass looking thing on the sidebar on the left. This will let us freely move around the preview. Now that we can freely move around the preview, zoom in until the green cross is at a decent size. Then click center view at the top right above the preview window. Now let's make the sprite actually appear. Make sure the frame is selected correctly in your timeline. Then come up to this properties menu to the right of the preview. I'm going to edit the width and height properties to match the resolution of the sprite. So in my case, this will be 128 by 128. You'll notice my sprite is very much off center. To change the pivot point or colloquially the origin, Go to the Pivot X and Pivot Y properties here. Since my sprite is 128 by 128 pixels in size, I'm going to set these properties to 64. It's now centered correctly. From here, you can make new frames and edit the properties of each frame to make your animation. I'm going to make a basic animation of a scythe spinning in 360 degrees. You can hold down Control to extend a frame forwards with your mouse. After it's the length I want, I'm going to make a new frame at the end of this frame with a rotation value of 180. So go up to our Properties tab, 
and I'm going to type 180. You'll notice that this frame has copied the properties of the frame before it. I'm going to add a final frame with a rotation value of 360, but then also lower the duration value to 1. If you click play now, you'll notice that nothing will happen. That is because the length of our animation is still set to one frame. Go down to the bottom menu and click the Fit Animation Length button to automatically set the length. You'll notice my animation is changing its orientation, but it's not smooth. We can very easily smooth out the animation by enabling the interpolated properties of the frames. This will basically transition your frame's properties from one frame to the next smoothly. Finally, now my animation is complete. To save it, go to the File tab and click Save. That's all for this tutorial. There are more features to the animation editor, but they're relatively easy to figure out if you explore the program a bit. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments, my Discord server, or the Modding of Isaac Discord server. Goodbye!